because then that means Uzgari has lost two points in this round. So probably a 10-7. A 10-8. Even with, even with a knockdown and the point off. Knockdown. Oh, I see what you mean. Knockdown, yes, it'll be 10-7. You're quite right. Knockdown would... So he's lost three points. So he's obviously lost the fight. You'd expect that to possibly uh, damage his morale, but only one round to go. Well, that makes him seven points ahead as far as I'm concerned. Not that I'm what my scorecard says matters, but uh, to take to lose three points in that round is just ridiculous. So the, it looks like he did virtually headbutt John Murray there. So fair enough from the referee to take that point oh, off. No excuse for deliberate fouls like that, but the knockdown to us did not look legitimate. I don't know, facially, Murray looks more like a loser than a winner. He's marked up down both eyes. Both energised, knowing there's only three minutes left. Colleagues are ringside here. We like to have Murray six rounds up. That pretty much tallies with your scorecard, Colin. But perhaps the moral victor is El Uzgari, who's still in there battling away when people wrote him off. Wasn't expected to last 12 rounds. And he's taken his lumps. No real finesse with uh, John Murray this evening with his work. Very few feints. Good attack this though. And he closed the show in the 12th round, John Murray. They both must be utterly exhausted. It's hot in here as well, isn't it? Yes, and under the ring lights, it'll be even hotter. York Hall here on Old Ford Road in Bethnal Green in the east end of London. They're both holding really for the first time, looking up at the clock, find out how long to go. Can't really blame them for that at this stage. Just over a minute left. to have completely lost the energy to move. His legs are leaden. His balance isn't really there anymore. But Murray too tired himself to really... I think he's hit that. Up. I think his guy has hit that wall we were talking about. <laughs> At least Murray has the satisfaction of winning the 12th and last round. Uzgari, utterly exhausted. Well, that knockdown was no different to the one he counted. No. Last ten. This one's going the distance. Murray hits Ali's going around the back of the head. His frustration there. The referee's not happy, and he's taking a point off Murray. So that makes it an even round. a fair decision that they embrace at the final bell well for what it's worth my scorecard says 116 109 good scrap that one but not really John Murray's well, coming out party in the in London well I don't know what uh, promoter Frank Warren thinks of uh, his performance but I mean, what he'll say publicly and what he'll say privately may be two different things, but I don't think he could be overjoyed at what he saw tonight from Murray. Still a great fight, him and Kevin Mitchell. Oh. Even harder to pick a winner. I think some people beforehand were saying that Kevin Mitchell's inactivity and 
losing to Michael Katsidis. Well, of course, Kevin has been out for well, when they, if they fight, say in June, he would have been out 13 months. It's a shame Mitchell wasn't boxing in a little six or eight rounder on this bill just to get his sharpness back, to get all the fans to see them together. Well, he won it comfortably, I think, but I don't think he was, um, I could say he was impressive, John you Murray. You can't sparkle every time. Maybe he underestimated his opponent. I suppose what counts is winning. Yeah. And with that, he moves to 31 straight wins. It's a very impressive record. Well, Despite all the head clashes and low blows and all the rest of it, the two fighters, as always in boxing, embrace each other, congratulate each other, and Murray very sportingly raises the Spaniard's hand so that he gets a round of applause. Was there anything malicious there with uh, Murray hitting Elos Gari around the back of their head? You think that was just... No, I don't think so. Decision. 